Okay, in typical fashion, I'm jumping around everywhere again. Um, I ran out of parts in one section. I jump over to something else. Found my gas leak, got that resolved. So I decided to jump over to the uh, plumbing side of things. And I got my water line ran over to the uh, room the boiler is. And I was just setting up the filter system. Kind of sucks. I know this is kind of a small thing, but the way these are set up, the, the pretty pictures on the other side now. But I went ahead and ordered some 90 degree uh, uh, PEX fittings there. You know, anytime you can avoid a, a fitting is better. So I may end up doing what I've got right here. I may end up using those fittings. I don't know if I am going to need them at some point anyways. And I had to order a bunch of other fittings. This uh, uh, UV light didn't come with any fittings. So I ordered those. And a couple other things I had had to order so working on that hit a roadblock because i don't have any or all the fittings that i need so i decided to jump over to our uh i heard the dogs whining what are you doing there, huh? I took over your room Anyway, I decided to jump over to the water tanks, pull them out and figure out how I'm gonna get them set. So my idea right now, is I'm actually gonna drill a hole and I clean them off first, but right in the very dead center of the top, I'm gonna put a hole. So the pipe will come over, down, into the floor, over and then drop right into the top. I'm not gonna do a first flush, I just heard too much about them being a waste. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to clean the top of these off. And then there's actually a little divot. See it right there is that divot that's right in the center. So I'll just mark my circle there and that's where I'll put my pipe in it. got these fittings these are actually roof flashings and uh, if I cut out this very bottom ring then my six inch uh, uh, drain pipe for the rainwater collection will fit right into there so my goal is to I'll put some caulking around this slap that on top get it screwed in get my pipe sticking up Pretty good. Uh, I used the beveled end up to make the hole uh, or the tube bigger that way it won't slip down inside and lose it. The reason why I ran the pipe down inside was um, when the water is pouring in from the top I don't want it splashing and making a whole bunch of noise so I don't want it to be raining and all we hear is this waterfall down here. So my thought is if I put a tube all the way to the bottom the water is going to splash just inside that tube and that tube is sitting 
about three inches off the bottom of the tank. Um, so the water will go down to, to the tube and then push up around the underside of it. And um, we'll probably still hear some of it, but it will be, the splash will be contained not only inside that tube, but then inside the container as well. Um, so hopefully we won't hear it as bad. Um, that's the thought anyways. Uh, this 90, I'm not going to glue it. It's just going to sit down inside there. I don't think it fit. It's just going to sit in there like that. Reason being is, of course, I can't slide this in like that. So um, my thought is that I will push the tank back into place, and then I can set that piece in there. I'm not going to glue it because should I ever have to get this out, I want to be able to lift that up, um, hook it to the bottom of the uh, floor here, pull the tank out, slip a new one in, in case we ever have any issues. Um, the way that's set up, it's glued on the top and not on the bottom, so we shouldn't have any issues with water coming up around that at all. It would be uh, pretty difficult for that to happen. So uh, that one's done. I'm going to go ahead and take that pipe off, push it back into place, pull that one out, and then go ahead and do the same thing. So I got my barrels pushed out of the way. Went to the store, I got my pressure tank, it's an 85 gallon pressure tank, I got my pump. So I just pulled the tank out or pushed it out of the way and uh, swept and vacuumed it. I don't want to have any little rocks or anything underneath where um, once I get this full of water, the pressure would poke a hole in it. I don't think that would happen, but I don't want to test that. So I got that cleared out. Um, need to push this tank back into place and then pull that one out and uh, clean behind it and then I'll get them oriented correctly. pressurize the whole system make sure to have any leaks uh, before we do drywall i've got a 10 uh, off coupon at tractor supply where i'm going to buy our pump and everything at and that expires in a couple days so i really need to buckle down and get this um, water system going i tapped into the top with our pipe it's our inlet pipe you can see in here that goes down just a couple inches above the uh, bottom of the floor there so any water goes in. I said before why I did that was I didn't want to have you know, this big splooshing, splashing sound um, when the water is coming in there. If I just had it dump into the top, you know, it's going to be dropping several feet before it hits the water and it'll be really loud. So doing it this way, I hope it'll keep the noise down. Um, it should also stir up the sediment at the bottom and push everything out towards the sides, which might help as well. Um, as far as keeping sediment out of our filters. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to run the actual water pipe yet, the, the, the pipe that's going to go to the pump. Um, I kind of think I can just come through the top as well and maybe tape that pipe, or not tape it, but zip tie it to the side of my inlet and run that down. And the thought there is um, that the pump should be able to suck it out the top. So not not drilling any holes in the bottom or doing anything in the bottom. I'm actually sucking the water from the top and out. Um, so that's a possibility. The other thing I have to do is, let's say that my tanks are full, you know, each one's full to the rim. If I don't have a way for it to get out, then I could just have water pushing out this pipe. It could, you know, I'm not gonna glue that fitting. It could push that up and what we're just placing it filled with water. 
So, although that's not going to happen very often, you know, we do get some pretty intense spring storms. So my thought here is to come out of the side, right about here with maybe a three inch pipe, come over, 45 it, and then go out the wall or come down, you know, down and then out the wall and have that be my discharge uh, pipe in case it fills up, um, it o overflows. That seems to be the easiest. Um, so if I get this oriented where these are straight, because I do want to take this bottom fitting. So this is where the dog's been sleeping. I do want to get this bottom fittings lined up. That one so I can actually run a pipe across so they can e equalize. So I'm going to get that set up too. But um have this discharge pipe running out in case they get filled up too much. Here on the bottom, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do this. But my thought is, if I run a pipe straight across, and I've got disconnects where I can unhook everything if I need to, then I'll have a drain line on one side, probably this side, that just sticks out a little bit with a shutoff valve. And if I ever need to drain it, I can turn off, have a shutoff valve here, and a shutoff valve there, and then a T to a shutoff valve, to a little pipe I can hook on a drain fitting to, kind of like where you drain a pool. Hook up to there and then I can drain one tank or the other. Uh, when this valve is closed and these two valves are on, water can flow between tank to tank to help equalize them. Um, it's only going to be like an inch and a half, maybe a two inch pipe, but that should be enough to equalize everything you know, just fine. Uh, let's see what else we're going to do here. I thought about putting a T on this side with a one inch coming up. And what I would do is put a clear uh, tube on that and then attach it to the top somewhere. And that way I could, I could easily read what my water level is. I don't think that would be a problem. Um, I don't think it would leak, but that's something to figure out. And then I also thought about tapping into the bottom for the pump which is going to sit over here so instead of coming through the top like I thought I actually can do it down here but I've got to put another one inch coming off for a PEX line and a shutoff valve and then filter and all that stuff uh, pre-filter before it goes to the pump system so that's what I'm going to try and figure out today and then go into town and get my parts so I can start getting this hooked up we've got rain in a couple days I think oh maybe Sunday or Monday we've got rain so it'd be nice to get this set up between now and then. Oh, also on the top, oh, where would that be? So my pipe here is going to 90 up into the floor. It'll come over and then it will 90 up, come through the floor and then hook onto this pipe. So right about here, I'm going to have another T where the top is open. Um, what that's going to be used for is I plan on being able to pop that top off. I'll have a cap on it I can just take off. And then I want to have a basically a, some type of filter inside the downflow pipe here to collect any debris, leaves, and stuff that may get through. And then on our gutters, we're going to put gutter guards on, things like that to help keep debris out also. Um, but the filter in here, I should be able to just pop the cap off, have a little rope tied on it, and be able to pull it up and clean it and then put it back down. Um, I have to find some type of mesh that I can put in there that isn't going to get all funky and nasty and stuff. So I'll do some research on that. I'm going to install it. I may not use it right away. I'm going to at least install that. So um, things came in for the uh, filter system. So I got to finish up my piping on that. The idea is the filter system is going to be over here. The pump and expansion tank is going to be over here. Um, to get over these pipes on the ground, I'm going to actually get all this piped and I'm going to build a floor up. So they just made like a treated two and a half or three and a half inch uh, floor. So I'll just lay some two by fours this way and then decking this way so we can walk over the top of everything. And it's just going to float so we can lift it up if we need to get the stuff below. So it'll be a little walkway that comes out and down to the outside. And now I can run pipes between the two underneath. So over here where the pump is, it'll just be a one inch line that comes over and then up into the first filter. Uh, like I said, over here is going to be 
uh, at least an inch and a half, at least an inch and a half, maybe a two inch line between these two. So I get my parts for that. Um, and then build the raised, raised floor so we can walk over it.